Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Don't worry, I went to that little PC console to make sure they were fully healed off camera, so you won't have to see it this time. Tura? You were just one letter away by being called a Tur. you know that? That's too bad. I would have liked to take on Hunter Turd. Alright, Skip Bloom, can you get a third move for me? Please. Even though you're not going to be used in this battle. Oh, Cotton Spore, that just lowers speed. Okay, well that's not too bad. But I think I should be going with Fire for this. Seems how both these Pokemon are Ice types. I'll focus on the Spheal because it is part water. And that would be pretty bad for the Quilava to get hit with a water move. I guess we'll hope for a critical hit then. Nope, didn't get it. Oh, I mean, look at him, he's shivering. That's just so sad to see a snow and shiver like that. But you got no excuse if you're an ice type. Come on now. You know what you were getting into when you made yourself an ice type. Come on. Okay, snow flame reel the snow runt. And then we'll have Espeon take out the spiel. Oh, now I get the critical! RPG logic! Why does your chances of getting a critical hit rise when you don't need one? When a normal hit would be enough to get the faint. It's been like that in pretty much almost every RPG. Like an Earthbound, for instance. That's happened to me a lot of my Earthbound Let's Play. Check it out, by the way. You just get critical hits when the opponent is already nearly down. No, they're not decent! You just have ice types! You have no balance! I'm sorry, but there's nothing decent about your team! Yeah, this might as well just keep the skip bloom in. Oh, there's an item! Yeah, revive, that's good. Oh, hey, what's up? You don't like this place? Yeah, I don't like it either, the vending machines are broken. Horsey and Oddish. Okay, well that's an easy team. I mean, Espeon's got his target right away, the Oddish. I'd say we go for another Shadow Rush with a Skip Bloom as per usual. Okay, that one has three Pokemon. And a Confusion on Oddish. Alright. So that's my strategy. There, that's one. What's the next Pokemon? Another Grass type? Sandshrew? Okay, that's a little out of left field. It's ground. And Skip Bloom won't be able to move because of the uh, hyper mode. Ooh, Horsey knows Dragon Dance. That raises attack and speed. I think I should focus on taking out the uh, Horsey next. Because multiple Dragon Dance is going to be a problem. Especially if the horse he manages to go first next. Oh, thank God. Threat averted. Swords Dance? That really raises attack. Okay, this trainer pretty much likes to use buffs first and then goes for the attack. That is, if it's going to attack at all, probably just use bots multiple times. At least it didn't raise its special defense. There! I mean, Espeon's got a pretty good special attack right now. Now it's at level 32. Dancing alone doesn't win any battles. No, but it gets you a lot of attention on the dance floor if you know how to dance. Maybe more attention if you don't know how to dance. Who knows? Um, are you sure you should even be out in society looking like that? Not that I judge against women that want to empower themselves, but I mean, look at that hair. If I wore shorts like that, I'm pretty sure I would get beat up. Okay, since that one has a tentacool, I know Espeon's gonna get the job done. Okay, Skip Bloom now has a grass move. It's Mega Drain. That's actually a pretty good dance move. I mean, 
Dance move? Grass move! <laughs> I'm doing the Mega Drain on the floor, baby! <laughs> Want me to Mega Drain your ass? <laughs> okay, I think I should go with uh, Quillava for this. Because Cagnia is part dark. And use Confusion on Tentacool. I mean, who does a dance move called Mega Drain? It's like, I felt a Mega Drain and now I can't dance anymore because I'm so tired. Why did you take my HP for yourself? Don't you already have enough money for drinks? <laughs> Aww, I was hoping the Tentacool would take itself out. Ah, uh, Faint Attack. Okay, it hit the Quillava. That's not too bad. Alright, Flame Wheel to Cacnea, and Espeon, I'm pretty sure you can just use anything else, but I'm gonna go with Confusion anyway. Because I can. There. Maybe I should've just went for Swift. Alright, Quillava, it's all you. Take that Cacnea down! See what I tell ya! Getting the job done! No, I didn't. I just used the right Pokemon. You only had two. I hit six. You had no chance unless you used legendaries. Um, blind spot all of them? Okay, looks like we're outside of the building. Ooh, what's in here? Darling, aren't you one of Duking's people? What made you think you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. Uh, where's my RB? I'm taking him down. Why did the trainers ignore him? Take him down? After the beating you took? <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> you wait. I'm gonna drive all of you out of this town. In those shorts? <laughs> Ooh, such a feisty boy. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down. Like we did with Duking. What? Yeah, I heard all that. Oh! We seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. But that's no excuse for being a bad host. Wreath? Okay, I'm guessing somebody thought about starting your name with W? A Remoraid with level 20? And a spin rack level 33, okay. One of these things is not like the other. And I think we know what it is. Yeah, figured as much. The Remorade is Shadow Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna have the Skip Bloom actually use a Sleep Powder on the Remoraid. And Espeon, you focus on taking out the Spinarak. If the Sleep Powder works, I'll have a great chance of catching it. If it doesn't work, I can always have Espeon use Swift, just to soften it a little bit. Oh, love Disc! Just why? Okay, good, it worked. Dirt Rip Drug! Okay, that, that's never funny for anyone that probably experienced it. Alright, so... I think we're gonna go... Use a Great Ball, of course. On the Remoraid. And I'd say for Espeon, why don't you just use Swift? I'm not gonna bother with the swap tricks, I do have plenty of Great Balls. I mean, 7 is not dangerously low. Putting it to sleep will give me an advantage. There! Alright. I think my first playthrough of this game, like when I did a practice run of it prior to this Let's Play, I fainted the Remoraid. I didn't even try to, but apparently I was just too powerful for it, given that it was only level 20. But in any case, Skip Bloom is actually going to be valuable here. Just learning Mega Drain makes a big difference. Because now it can feel like a real grass type you can rely on. Love to survive that? Well, it won't survive Mega Drain. It's too bad you can only do it like 10 times before you actually need to go recover your PP. 
But that's that works for me. How did it happen? I was just better than you. And you had a weak shadow Pokemon. Damn right I'm no ordinary trainer. No, I wasn't hired. He's not paying me. But she was, though. Firma. <laughs> I swear, these names are just so weird. Okay, a Mantine, or is it Mantine? I know I'm probably going to eat a lot of shit from a lot of the viewers if I mispronounce Pokemon names. It's just going to happen. Okay, the Mantine is probably going to be strong. Again, Mantine or Mantine? Um, part of me wants to use Mega Drain. I don't think I'll be able to faint it, because Mantine does look pretty beefy. Okay, Apom is going to be annoying. And it withstood that, I'm not surprised. Oh, it's confused, awesome. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Just one Mega Drain. Wow! Oh, I'm guessing it's part flying as well. That would explain why I was so weak. Ooh, and it was Bubble Beam. Okay, why don't you try for a Sleep Powder here? And I'd say a Swift would be good to take out the Apom and do some damage to the Mantine. Not a lot, but hey, I'll take it. There. It takes out one Pokemon. Why would one Peon have a level 20 Remoraid and one have a level 33 Mantine for their Shadow Pokemon? Somebody's a favorite! That's not good leadership, my B. Then again, you're a villain. They never really have good leadership for their Peons. Okay, good. It's put to sleep. So what should I do next? I think I'm gonna go try to catch it. It's crazy, but it might actually work. This is outlandish here. I am gonna do the swap, though. I think I should probably use another Swift. Just to make my chances a little bit higher. For the next catch, of course. I know this is not gonna work. Excuse me? That worked? Well, I'm not gonna complain, but... I just don't like to be wrong! Then again, I'm pretty sure Dr. Phil is gonna be coming to me and saying, You would rather be right than be happy, wouldn't ya, Bonga? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Dr. Phil isn't gonna be watching this video. He's probably gonna be thinking to me, thinking, What the hell are you doing with your life for playing video games and all that stuff? I do it because I can, and I love it, you know? Uh, let's see. Shadow Rush to Yanma. No, no, not Swift! Oh. I wanted to go with Confusion. Now that Yanma's gonna have a stronger move. Damn it, Bonga. That wasn't part of the game plan. But here we are. Oh, Sonic Boom. Well, that's not going to be powered up. That was a waste of a helping hand. Ah, damn it. Hyper mode. Oh, and Yanma has the speed boost ability. That's not good. Okay, we definitely got to take that Yanma out. Okay, so now all that's left for Skip Bloom is the final lock. Good. It knows quick attack. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, please don't hit the Espeon. You can only take one more hit. Damn it! Okay, so Espeon's out, unfortunately. I'm thinking the Makahita. And just use it on Furret. But I don't think the Skip won't be effective either. Again, the Yanma may not know any bug moves. So I say I'll keep the Skip Loom in just to use the Shadow Rush and all that stuff. We'll focus on the Furret for the time being. 
Okay, helping hand, I'm not too worried. I mean, time I'll answer a text message. I'm a good multitasker. I don't have to be, like, pressing A all the time for, like, these kinds of moves. I just gotta let them happen. Okay, this is actually a pretty dangerous duo, because they're relying on speed, and then using that to hurt me. Ah, that one defense curl kept it alive. Well, I don't think that would have made a world of difference, but... Stood in the yellow. Okay, unfortunately, Makahita will not be good against the Yanma. Fighting moves are not built for that. In the meantime, I just gotta hope that this move will actually take one out. Ugh, Makahita's pretty beaten up. I say Quilava might have to come in next. Okay, Makahita, when you take out that fur, you did your job. I'm taking you out for this. I can't go risking my Pokémon's well-being. Okay, Skip Bloom, you might as well just stay in, keep Shadow Rushing the Yanma. Makahita, I'm bringing in... Yeah, I'm bringing in Quilava for this. Could have chose Flaffy, but I like Quilava more. It's more powerful. But I'm still not playing favorites. I'm just going with what the type advantages are. Now we gotta soften it up. Oh, that's actually a very good Shadow Rush. Bring it down to half. I say one Flame Wheel will do him in. But that speed's almost at max! For like how much you can raise it. I believe you can use like speed boost like six times and then you won't be able to notice the difference anymore. Okay, I, sh I should be doing alright this battle. Ooh, that's beautiful. One more hit, and you're done. Taking a bit of a beatdown, but I should be alright. There we go! Finally, that battle's over! That was a tough one. Then again, a lot had to do with just trying to catch the Mantine. Unbelievable, too. <laughs> Never heard of that. That's right, you get out of here! Ultra Super Fire Dash? That was wasteful. Er, Ow! Thank you! You saved me! Do you people know Duking? We do now! Okay, I'm a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all! They've taken Duking's Pokémon hostage! How can they do something so downright dirty? Um, uh, they're villains? That's why we're here! We came to rescue Plusel! I'm going to... Uh, uh, ow! Not in your condition! You'll have to wait here! Whoa-ho-ho-ho! -ho -ho! We meet again, kitties! But Mara B! You cowardly cheat! Cowardly cheat? No, oh, that's not so true! Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic! You call that a tactic? Plus, it better be okay! Oh, the darling couldn't be any safer if it tried! I'm sure it'll come to adore me before too much longer. You've gotta be kidding! Where is it? Give it back! Oh ho ho ho! No running or hiding for me! Come to the cave! That's where I'll be! I'll be waiting for you, my pretties! Oh ho ho ho! The cave, eh? Oh, there's a file. It's another iron file. It's S. Shadow Pokemon. A shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has been made into a fighting machine by artificially shutting the door to its heart. I would imagine physically that would just be fatal. What we didn't know is that the shadow Pokemon exude a dark aura that can't normally be seen by the human eye. Unfortunately, a girl with the ability to see this dark aura has been discovered. This is a major problem. Not for me. The girl will become a huge obstacle for our Shadow Pokemon plan. A solution to this threat is urgently needed. 
You know, you could have just tried to kill her, you know. But then again, this is Pokemon. That's a bit too dirty. I say we have one more battle to open up the way to the cave, and then I'll stop the video. Now, let me use a revive, because I'd rather do that than just go to... The oh, I don't have to. My Pokemon are fully healed. For some weird reason, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, we are intruders, even though Myro B did invite us to come see him. Why the hell are we battling on the square if we're clearly on the roof of a building? Ah, Quillfish. And a Goldeen. Skiplone will be effective for this, and so will Flaffy. I don't think I want to take out the Quillfish, because I believe that's a Shadow Pokemon. Yes, it is. Good. That's a good Pokemon, because that's water and poison. Okay, we're going to Sleep Powder the Quillfish, and try to take out the Goldeen. Yeah, it's going to take more than one Confusion to get the job done, though. Ow! 50 damage? Ah, it missed. That's not good. Uh, don't hit the skip loom. Damn it! I was gonna use the sleep powder! I'll have to settle for Thunder Wave. First world problems. <laughs> Wanted to sleep powder, but fainted, so I have to use Thunder Wave. Alright, Thunder Wave it is. Plus, you'll provide a good support fire against the other water Pokemon. Whatever the next one's gonna be after Goldeen. Oh, Linoon! That's a normal type! That's a bit out of left field. Oh, jeez. Hey! I gotta catch that Quillfish right now, because you become a serious thorn. No pun intended, because, you know, Quillfish has a lot of thorns. Well, they're not really thorns, they're just... barbs and stuff. Okay, let's see. I use a Great Ball. Try to catch that Quillfish. Do the swap trick, even though it's practically borderline unnecessary at this point. Alright. Try to catch that Quillfish. Paralyzing it will be a good help. Hopefully it's pretty much all I need. What? Damn it. Okay, looks like we have to try again. Maybe I'll have to use a Swift for Espeon. Once that Linoon's out. Mudsport, that just lowers electric, electric moves. Eh, apparently it doesn't know. Only Shadow Rush got some Poison Sting. Ah, damn it, it was poisoned. Yeah, it had no effect because it was already paralyzed, that's why. In case you're wondering why that did not work, the Quillfish does not have a special ability to prevent Synchronize. It only just because it's already paralyzed and you can't add poison to it. You can add confusion to it, but that's not an official status. Alright, let's try Swift. Let's see, I might be able to catch the Quillfish on this move. Believe in fate. Oh, so close! It's always so painful when it gets to the third shake and then breaks out. Okay, that's pretty weak, but I'm not surprised. Why are you using Mudsport again? Okay, good. Didn't get to do anything. Alright, we gotta try this again. Great ball. On the Quillfish. And then you just use Confusion on the Linoon. You might be able to take it out this turn. Or bring it down to really low. Alright, you got this. You got this. You got this! Oh! <sighs> Again, you're just trying my patience. And my balls. Okay, good. Now it's just two on one. I, mean, 
Espeon's already poisoned. Well, you're just trying to hurt it. I don't blame ya. Alright, let's try this again. This time I will use the swap. And another Swift will probably do. I'm just gonna be relying on Swift, don't call me Taylor. And let's hope that we'll just get a little bit closer. I mean, I can't get any closer than what I am now! Three shakes and breaks out twice? Okay, that was only two shakes. That's still a bit annoying. Okay, that's gonna increase my chances a little bit. Good, no moves. My Espeon's hurting pretty badly. That's gonna be a problem down the road. Okay, another Swift. I say we should get it to... Well, that nah, should still be at green. I don't think it's gonna bring it to yellow. But come on, catch it! Catch it! Come on! Lay down, Quillfish! You're paralyzed! That did not look securely snagged game. Ooh, thing. I'm kind of a bit worried. If it's using Shadow Rush, it's going to lower its own HP. And Espeon's down. Okay, so what am I going to bring in next? I'd say we'd go with Quillava for this. And just start have it use Smokescreen if need be. Okay, we're going to need more balls for this. Flame Wave may not be so bad either, because it won't be effective. But we'll see. I think this is good enough damage that we're gonna do. That will make its other moves a little less effective. If I can lower its accuracy. Are you kidding me?! You're still breaking out? Come off of it now! Just give up! Thank God for the swap trick, otherwise I'll be out of Great Balls! Oh, come on now. We lowered its accuracy and now it's raising its evasiveness. At least balls won't miss. Thankfully, if it did, I'd be in deep trouble. Okay, I'm just gonna keep wearing it down a little bit. I gotta try. Hopefully this trying to catch a cool fish won't stretch along 30 minutes. Finally! Damn! A quill fish! That was not fun! It was fun for you! It wasn't for me. Okay? That quill fish should not take that much effort to catch. For at least now he'll let me go through the cave. At least I think that's a he. But I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, we're gonna go to Pyrite Cave and try to chase down Myror B. See ya.